Hi Shine families, how are you? I'm currently enjoying a very lovely sunny day, so I hope whenever you're watching this video, the sun is still shining for you. As church, we are looking at how we can hear God, and I've been asked to speak about how we hear God through praying. So first of all, I wanted to share some of my thoughts about praying. What is prayer? Well, prayer is just talking to God. It's a conversation with God, which means we can expect to hear God say something back to us. The Bible says lots of really cool things about praying, but there are three verses that really stand out to me. The first is in Philippians chapter four. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for what he has done. The second verse is in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 18. It says, pray in the spirit at all times and on every occasion. And the third verse is in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. It says, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, which means without stopping, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. When I first read these verses, I felt a little bit overwhelmed. How do I pray without stopping? And how do I pray all the time and on every occasion and about everything? Well, here's how. You see, God is our friend. I want you to have a think about a good friend you have that you like spending time with. It might be a family member or it might be a friend from school or a friend at work. This is my friend, Sam. When we're together, sometimes I'm talking, sometimes she's talking, we talk to each other. We ask each other questions. Sometimes we talk about serious things and sometimes we talk about really silly things. Sometimes we don't talk at all, but then one of us might start chatting about something we'd been talking about a week ago or a month ago. That's what it's like with God. God is our friend just like our other friends. In fact, he's the best friend we could have. And he doesn't just want to spend time with us sometimes, he wants to spend time, time with us all the time. We can trust that he's always there and we can talk to him about anything at any time and expect him to talk back. And have you ever been spending time with a friend and you haven't said anything, but they can just sense that maybe you're a bit worried about something or sad about something. Well, there's another really cool verse in the Bible in Romans chapter eight, verse 26. It says, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that can't be expressed in words. Just like a friend might pick up that we're not feeling okay, the Holy Spirit does this also. We might feel sad or worried about something and not know how to talk to God about it, but the Holy Spirit knows. So we can ask the Holy Spirit to take our sighs, our tears, our groans, and turn them into prayers to God. So now we've talked a bit about praying, let's talk about how we can hear God through our praying. Now, all of us always have thoughts going on in our heads all of the time. So we can start by just inviting God into our thoughts. As we think about things, we can just start to talk to God about them. I often ask God questions or say things like, I just don't know what to do about this. And then I stop talking to see if God says anything. It's usually the first thought that pops into my head and that will be God saying something back. I'll give you an example of this. Before I started recording this video, I felt a bit worried about what I was saying. So I said in my head to God, how can I speak about hearing you through prayer? Am I even praying right? I instantly felt a big yes, which I think was God. So I feel a little bit more confident about sharing with you all. And don't worry if you don't get an instant thought in your mind from God. Just as we've mentioned with conversations with friends, 
they often get picked up another time. Sometimes I've talked to God about something and I don't feel he says anything back. But then maybe later when I'm walking to school, God shows me something in nature and gives me a little message through it. Or I might be watching TV or reading and he speaks to me through the story. Or I might be reading the Bible and he relates it to something I've been praying about. Okay, I'm starting to talk about other ways that God can speak to us now, so I'll stop here. But if we start to think about prayer in this way, you'll start to find God speaks to you in all sorts of ways. I hope you have some great conversations with God this week. Bye for now, everyone.